Away we go, in the red. Mukhtar Khan Dildabikov, the 24-year-old from Kazakhstan, world silver medalist last year, and in the blue, Oli Harrison. The southpaw with that big left hand, and it's that big left hand which is causing him a problem or two. That will be at the back of his mind. And who is going to pick up the first scoring punch in this uh, off-criticised computer scoring system? The last time the Olympic Games were held in Australia, Britain came away with two gold medals. Terry Spinks at flyweight, and at lightweight, the magnificent Dick McTaggart. Dodabikov is an awkward, brawling sort of a customer. He was cautioned in a semi-final against a man from Uzbekistan, side off several times for all sorts of misdemeanors, and he's picked up the first shot. It's a slowish start by Big Audley. Dodabikov very sensibly moving away from the left hand of Harrison. Dodabikov lost out in the final of the World Championships last year to the man who beat Harrison, Sinan Samulsan from Turkey. Audley lost 4-3, and Dildebikov took him very close to a count back, in fact, 4-4 at the end of four rounds, and he, the Turk got a 26-16. That's a good shot by Harrison. He's got to keep in touch. Dildebikov has this propensity for throwing big overhead right hands, often illegal. Harrison's got to nail him, and he's got him with a good left. And that's the injured hand, and Harrison's gone up, and that's an eight count. It's only going to count as one scoring point. Dildabikov cannot believe it at all. And he looks somewhat askance at the Cuban referee, but acknowledges it. So after a slowish start, Harrison has done what he's best at, and he's picked his man up in the counter. So more of the same, please, Audley. Good finish to this round by the Briton. Attempted body shot by the Kazakhstani was well blocked by Harrison, who just ambles back to his corner. But what a belter that was from Harrison. Yes, come on, says Aero, when you can bang him in, this fella doesn't like it. 3-2 to Harrison. They've got to wait until the little bones finish. Right hand straight away by Dildabikov, and Harrison just about saw it coming and no more. He's uh, five, six inches taller, he's got a longer reach, and he's maybe 20 pounds heavier, and he's got to make every single one of those advantages count. Good body shot by Harrison, left went in, on the torso, picked up the point. And again, didn't score that time. Good defence by Harrison, very wary of that right hand from the Kazakhstani. Harrison standing perhaps and waiting just a little bit instead of uh, being first. There's the jab again. And he's popped him off again, and that's a three-point gap for Harrison. Coming up to the end of the first minute of the second round. Three points is by no means a winning lead, but they'll be happy enough with that if it stays like this until the final belt. To the difference now, and again to Dabakov's right hand. Good stuff from Harrison. And again, didn't count. Don't get careless. Keep that left up, I think, must be the message. Because that really has uh, just about all that Dildabikov has got to offer, apart from being very awkward. 30 seconds to go to the end of the second. Good footwork by the reigning Commonwealth champion. Hugely disappointed Harrison that he didn't make more of it against the man who won the gold medal in Houston and Texas last year when he went out 4-3 to the Turk. But he's more than made up for it here in Sydney. That's the way to do it. Nice gap, four points will do. Five would be nicer at the halfway stage. Harrison tried to draw down the hands of the Kazakhstani. Another good stiff jab. Five points is terrific. Dabikov is not coming forward at all, and if he doesn't come forward, Harrison could win this. A much better round by Harrison. 3-2 he took the first. 6-2 he's taken that second round, and he's leading 9-4 at the halfway stage. It hasn't been uh, fought at a particularly fast pace, and Dabikov, I think, has been told by the corner to step up the pace. 
and he's going to try to hustle Harrison and put him on the back foot and Harrison can't afford to let that happen 9-6 now opening two points of this third round the crucial stage to Dildabikov Harrison needs to be four or five points in front at the turn Harrison momentarily just uh, changed stance there he switched one from southpaw to orthodox now come on Harrison pick up the pace there's the right hand again you're getting caught with that and again this is not a good round for Harrison he did this on several occasions in a semi-final against the Italian Paolo Vidos before unleashing two or three crucial little flurries and he needs that again and there's that right hand telegraph this time that's better from Harrison good body shot by the Kazakhstani he's now producing much more than we've seen in the opening two rounds Harrison doing enough to stay ahead 45 seconds and then there's two more minutes Harrison just staying in front of Numor got caught with a right hand and Dildabikov is throwing that all the time good uppercut by Harrison better spell four points last 30 seconds good stiff jab by Harrison he's five points up just four now he needs to get another one or two to give himself a bit of comfort that was a good shot by him and he is five and again at six points great stuff by Harrison he's not throwing them in flurries he's throwing them in single shots and the judges at ringside have been impressed and Harrison is six points up and two minutes to go and Harrison must know these are coming and he picked them off beautifully with the right and then the left on the counter and then the left again and Harrison when he bothers has got all the skills so here it is the most important two minutes of Aldi Harrison's life the most important two minutes of British amateur boxing for 32 years Chris Finnegan beat Alexei Kiselov of the Soviet Union in 1968 in the middleweight final outscoring him 3-2 the judges were the men who decided the computer decides here but they're pushed by judges and Harrison's picking it up this is better from Harrison nine points of a gap win it in style only is the message and he's doing it ten points he will surely surely not lose it from here dare we even breathe it watch the head to Harrison Dildabikov had two hugely difficult contests against the giant Ruble Cabot in the quarter-final against the Uzbekistan he's side off in the semi-final he's been told about hitting with the wrong part of the glove now get the right part of the glove in the face Harrison move stay out of trouble and pick him off because you can do this don't be an idiot good right hand once again from Dildabikov and another one we have got a minute to go before a 32 year gap has been well and truly closed and while we will still acknowledge what Chris Finnegan did in Mexico we will more than acknowledge what Ole Harrison is doing here and is about to do in Sydney 2000 he is just over half a minute away from winning an Olympic gold medal nine points the difference Dildabakov is finding something else to come back but he's desperately tired there's nothing in the punches of the Kazakhstani Harrison hasn't got very much left in the tank both of them just about running on empty good body shot by Harrison and another one that surely is it 20 seconds to go Harrison desperately tired Dildabakov absolutely exhausted and Harrison's going to win this Harrison is going to win this 10 seconds stay in touch only be there the right hand ineffective perhaps for the first time Harrison comes back he's winning it in style he's only become the fourth boxer to pass the 30 points mark the points don't matter the victory matters the gold medal is only Harrison's and Ian Irwin is ecstatic what a final round by the big Philip.